Well, the Department of Energy announcing recently uh, that it will provide $5 million in combined funding to six projects initiating climate resilience centers that are intended to advance climate science on college campuses. The announcement states that the funded projects are aimed at increasing, quote, the use and utility of DOE research to improve climate resilience, particularly in vulnerable communities. Just brings a tear to my eye. The projects will be funded for three years, of course, except until there's an election next year and they get defunded immediately. Here to discuss this from Campus Reform's higher education fellow, Nicholas Giordano. Professor, good to see you again. Always a pleasure. All right, so what's going on here? Uh, shove more climate change garbage into the throats and the small brains of those that are susceptible to such nonsense? Is that what we're doing here? Well, it's even worse than that. It's not about climate resiliency or even climate change. It's about diversity, equity, and inclusion. That's what it comes down to. And all you have to do is look at the buzzwords they use. They use, you know, climate justice and cl environmental equity. And the money actually is being transferred to DEI departments. So there's going to be no science involved in this. It's not going to be how to build a resilient infrastructure here in the United States. If it was going to science departments, then you may have an argument. But what I find astounding is that we have seen the complete collapse of the education system. Proficiency levels are at all-time lows. We have ACT and SAT scores hitting new lows this year. That's after the new lows last year that were historic. And college students are unable to do basic math or, or write at a basic level. And yet they're wasting taxpayer dollars on funding these climate resiliency centers. The money would be better served in how to catch these students up and actually prepare them for the workforce. Because when you think of college, you think of careers. But these students are not being prepared for careers. Uh, no. What are they being prepared for? Activism. Uh, they're being prepared to vote a certain way to support leftist socialist policies, which works for a while. Worked in Argentina for a while. That's been rejected. By the way, Geert Wilders looks like he's winning the election to be the next prime minister in the Netherlands. Two countries, opposite sides of the world, both turning hard right to conservatism, to conservative principles and throwing out the socialists. So even these children that are being poisoned with all this filth, many of them will come around, Nicholas, at some point. They'll say, wait a second. This is garbage. This doesn't work. Don't, don't you think there's hope? Well, I do think there's hope because there's nothing worse than investing tens of thousands of dollars to over $100,000 and not being able to find a career after you got that piece of paper. And you were told that if you get that piece of paper, you'll live a great, successful life. So I think people are starting to, to question college. And we're seeing the results of the failure of the education system at the higher education level. We just had a small business survey that was released that showed 90% of small businesses responded Colleges are not preparing students with the skills necessary to compete in today's workforce. And it, it follows other things that are going on, other evidence where you have corporate Walmart, Tesla, Google, IBM. They have moved away from four-year college degrees. States like New Jersey and Pennsylvania and Virginia have moved away from four-year college degrees. It seems that everyone is aware that the education system is not producing the quality of students that we need except for the education system itself, because they continue to double down on a far left agenda that pushes ideology over education. Well, and here's the problem. Um, we're, we're bringing kids into these universities and colleges. They're walking out with $50,000, $80,000, $100,000 in debt to go get jobs to pay forty grand a year because they're not really uh, ready to do much of anything else, Right. So it's a complete waste of time and energy, except that they come out broke, owing money, which is why uh, Joe Biden and his team want to give all this money away so they can buy those voters. That's all that. You know, forgiving student loans is all about buying votes. And once you've pinholed, uh, put somebody in a corner, uh, painted them in a corner with a terrible degree, with a useless degree and a massive amount of debt, then they all want to be socialists. You put them in a position where they have no other choice because they're broke all the time by design, by this government who puts them there with useless degrees. I mean, these degrees are useless. They should go become carpenters, plumbers, electricians. Hell, mow lawns and don't go waste your, your time in college and come out and have $100,000 in your pocket when you're 25 and not be broke. There's 100 answers here, Professor.
aren't there? Yeah, and there's so many solutions that do exist out there. There's trade schools. You could become an entrepreneur. You could go to a community college to start off to save money. And the useless degree degree programs have to go. I mean, the fact that colleges are charging forty to eighty thousand dollars in some cases per year in order to get a degree in criminal studies. That, that should be criminal. I mean, these students should be able to sue these universities for getting ripped off. You know, there are certain degree programs that are 100 percent necessary when you look at engineering or, or uh, medical field. But, you know, and liberal arts, there, there is value to it. However, when you're charging an asinine amount of money and putting students in debt, there, there comes a point where you have to reevaluate the system. And in order to bring down costs, we should begin looking at cutting funding. The financial aid uh, departments should not be covering degree programs where there is no career trajectory. That would solve the problem fairly quickly. If colleges aren't receiving the financial aid money because of degree programs they're offering, they'll end those degree programs. It won't be worth it to them. So there are solutions out there. We just have to make them possible. Yeah, here's the best solution. And I've been putting this out for a long time. You worked in the, in the college system, Professor. Here's my solution. You want to offer gender studies degrees and communications degrees that they put out millions of communications. Uh, I'm, I'm in communications. Well, that's great. What good is that? <whistles> Nothing. I'm in a communication degree. Big deal. Uh, is it going to get you hired to do a job at a Fortune 500? No. Fortune 1000? No. So here's what I suggest. You make those universities and colleges the co-signer on that loan. If after five years or pick your number, whatever you're happy with. And the, and the kid still has not gotten gainful employment that will allow them to live a reasonable life and pay off the student loan debt, then the debt becomes the responsibility of the university. Make the universities co-sign. Make them put skin in the game and make their degrees be worth something on this world. You're, you're, you get the last word here. Well, it's a great idea, but I guarantee you they would never co-sign. They'd rather end the degree program than co-sign for those loans because they know. That well, it, it, student success isn't the real goal, and that's part of the problem. No, if anybody that's been on a college tour like I have in the last 10 years knows it's not about education. It's about the meal plan. It's about the recreation center. It's about the, the cool university they're going to go to that looks more like Disney World, the old Disney World, not the woke one, but maybe it is woke now. The point being is the only way it's going to work is if those universities and colleges have skin in the game. Anything short of that, then get rid of the degree programs. I agree with you. But if they don't have a, a, a stake in the outcome, it's never going to change. Nicholas, thank you for being here. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Greatly appreciate it. Just had to get that off my chest. If these universities, they're going to continue to screw these kids and come back and demand your tax dollars cover the difference and pay off their student loans, selling degrees that aren't worth the paper they're written on, right? Unless they get skin in the game. That's what should happen. Make them stand behind the degrees that they issue. All right, coming up after the break, it looks like it's going to be another expensive Thanksgiving this year. Brandon Arnold will be joining me next to break it all down. Maybe I'll break down. I'm having that kind of a day. I'll be right back. <laughs> 